Hello guys, Jessica here, barefaced. <laughs> Happy because it's actually sunny for once and not raining. I finally have time to do empties for you. The last time I posted was about six weeks ago. So a lot of things that I used, I was away almost two weeks. I still post it on my Instagram, empties for days, but won't be in here. So just know there is a lot more and I still managed to finish all of this stuff. So we're just going to get started. I'm going to try to um, separate masks. We'll talk about them at the end. Those of you that aren't interested, you can leave. Um, so yeah. First thing, this is from Dollar Shave Club. I've used another one of these, and this is just their shave butter. This is really nice and hydrating. Um, I managed to get it like really cheap or almost free through promo codes and stuff, but this is definitely worth it. This I got at the Dollar Tree. It is Milan Selective Frisk Control Leave-In Smoothing Argan Oil from Morocco. I would just put it in my hair pretty much in the shower. I would kind of like get as much water out of my hair first and then put it in my hair before I got out. And it was fantastic. Okay, mask, 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 mask. I was using a lot of mask guys. This is another Dollar Tree product. is the Bolero Facial Wipes by Coconut Oil and Sea Salt. I really enjoyed these just as a refresh mask. Here's another, um, this is a Dollar Tree Shave Cream. I use them all the time. They do prefer using the shave butter and stuff like that. Another Dollar Tree product. This is the Cranberry and Sweet Orange. This was really nice and lathered really well. Another one of these Salon Selective uh, leave-in conditioners and this was the Brazilian kerosene oil. I think I like this one a little bit more. It was more repair like a hydrate and shine. Um, really enjoyed that. Another Dollar Tree product. This was Bolero's Argan Oil and Avocado Shampoo. It was nice. Wasn't a huge fan of this. It was kind of drying. This is the Up and Up Deep Clean Cream Cleanser compared to Clean and Clear. Um, it was a little too harsh for me. I don't have the oil on my skin, so I just didn't need all of that. Here's another mask. Here's another mask. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, I use so many masks. Ugh, you'd be real proud of me. Mask, 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 mask. Jeesh. Okay. Oh, I just made a mask. Finish my beloved Tree Hut Coconut Lime. Epsom salt. I absolutely love the coconut lime brands from them. Um, it's phenomenal. Wow, almost all of this stuff is masks, guys. Um, their hair mask, lip mask, and face masks. Okay. So let me get the rest of this stuff out, and then sorry, I try to organize, and then I'm like, I want to show you the shot of everything, and. Okay, I finished a lip scrub. This was from Shop Miss A, and this was awesome, and I'm using another one. Um, I just leave it in my shower, kind of put it on while I'm washing my face. I'll put that on here and just kind of wash my face and go like this and wash that off. This lasted quite a bit of time, and it really does make your lips soft. I finished this Saturday Skin um, Gentle Cleanser. This was given to me from my friend Mary, and it was really nice. Um, I don't need a lot when it comes to a cleanser, so I really appreciate that this didn't really dry my skin out like a lot of cleansers do. I finished two of the deluxe size of the Exfolicate. I'm not a huge fan of this product just because, once again, I don't feel like I really need it, but um, it was nice. I tend to get dry around here, so I did a lot of used it in that area, and you know what? I don't feel dry here, so I guess it works. Um, I finished in the mini of the Garnier Micellar Water. The blue one is my favorite. I just finished um, a mini Tom's toothpaste. I used another Dollar Tree bath bomb. Uh, some are good and some are, aren't. Some dissolve, some don't. A lot of people complain about that. Um, I used three of these Genius uh, Cleansing Conditioner Co-Wash from Renkin. This was really, really nice on my hair. I finished a beloved Olay Whips. I left a little in here so you could see the consistency. Uh, moisturizer. So yeah, as you can see, it is a cream, but it's wet. And it just dissolves very easily and leaves a really nice kind of um, 
watery, like gel to cream consistency. And those are my favorite. I'm almost, I literally have one use in a product. So that will be my first thing towards the next empties. Um, and a bliss one that I loved. Finish my beloved Noir Tees from Victoria's Secret. That's really sad for me, but I have a brand new one. Um, I finished a solid perfume, uh, Viva La Juicy. Uh, someone asked me exactly what this is, so um, I can't get it open. So essentially, it is a solid perfume, and it's just like um, a thick, kind of oily consistency. And I just apply them on my wrists, you know, my neck, you know, your decollete, anywhere. And this honestly was a really, really cost-effective way to have a perfume. This lasted me two years, maybe longer than that. And I used a ton of this. This is only half an ounce of product too. And was a lot cheaper than suppose a spray that just dissipates because it was in a thicker formula. It lingered longer, so I didn't need as much. So I really enjoy solid perfumes. Two makeup products I finished. The LA Color Setting Spray, and this was from the Dollar Tree. I really enjoyed this. Mostly I use this to do like wet eyeshadow looks. Um, and this was nice. Yes, it's not much product, but it was a dollar. And I finally finished my Tarte Blush in the Pate. It's gone, guys. And it was pretty much essentially the color of this packaging, like a mauve. And it was really nice on my, you know, I'm like right on the border of the darkest light color to the lowest medium color kind of skin. So it was perfect for my skin. So I'm going to do masks now. So if you're not interested in hair masks, skin to masks, stuff like that, you can click off. But um, I have all of these to talk about. <laughs> okay. So I did buy a bunch of these Garnier full blend um, hair masks from Dollar Tree. They come in these little packets. You get two of them for a dollar. And this was the Moroccan Argan Oil and Camilla Oil. This was super nice. It's a very thick cream. So um, I usually would only recommend doing this after you wash your hair. It already is going to be really saturated and rinsed and such because um, I found it, especially in my thick hair, kind of hard to uh, blend through. You might need like some sort of comb. I do leave a comb in my shower. But this is really awesome, like 50 cents for a treatment. Great deal. So if you can find those in your Dollar Tree, I really recommend it. Trying to go back to other <laughs> hair stuff. Um, I think you say Marazzo. Marajo. This was a cleansing cream and a deep treatment butter. This was awesome. Um, I got this just in a bunch of things that I had um, a lot of hair masks that I had bought from eBay and this just came with it while finding products that I've never heard of in those things. So I need to look where I can find this. And in that same lot, Sue, I believe this is called, there was a three day avocado hair treatment and a three day, um, what is that? Almond. And this was really nice too. Two different hair masks. I use wearing hair mask. This was well, um, Yeah, so I used three of those. I used a uh, macadamia one. This is, I know why the hype between about this macadamia hair mask is. It's phenomenal. Um, I'm going to look in TJ Maxx for that and try to find a big size one for a good price because it was really good on the hair. And then I used two of the Garnier Fruities Damage Repairing Treatment Mask Papaya Extract. This was really nice too. Um, let's see. I used, this was just from TJ Maxx. I have one more, I think. There was like five in a pack. It's a lip mask. It was nice. My beloved crystal eye mask, under eye mask, I get on eBay or cheap. Laneige water sleeping mask. I love this. This was a Sue, so it's that same hair, brand, uh, hair uh, mask brand. This was a hydrogel lip patch, so it was just in there. And it says it had berry, super berry complex. There was acai, blueberry, blackberry, raspberry, and strawberry. This was really nice and much, much better than this. This was very hydrating. This was just like, I won't repurchase the other ones. Okay. Um, face masks. I used a couple of the dermal masks. I think these you get on Amazon. And this was the uh, hydrolanium. 
I think this is hydrolonic acid. Um, and then there's a milk one. And I enjoyed both of these. Um, the yes to coconut was just okay. I'm just like have a love-hate relationship with these yes to mats. So um, long story aside, I watched a video on YouTube. If you haven't watched it, put it into your search after you watch this. It is called, I think it says something like, what is beauty like on the streets? For women on the streets and there was a woman on there her name is shirley or beauty to the streets on instagram and she paints people's nails does their hair does skincare does just all kinds of things for the homeless on skid row in los angeles and the reason behind this story is that i went through my collection of backups and different things and I'm sending her a medium flat rate box that is like probably has tall as this and almost as deep as this, completely full with products, including skin uh, sheet masks. Because she was posting a video where she had all these women in chairs on the street with sheet masks on, painting their nails. So I went through an, all my yes to masks that I'm on the fence about. I'm giving it to her. I think, I'm, I think there's like 15 sheet masks alone that I'm giving her. Um, hair stuff personal care stuff. I really want to get something really big together. Um, but if you are interested and you're one of those people that has a lot of backups, you don't think you're going to be able to finish in time before it goes bad or you just feel compelled and called to help these people check out beauty to the number two, the streets with a Z, not an S. Um, I really recommend doing that. It's, I don't need all these things. And just seeing how happy they were to have something as minor as doing a sheet mask to me as minor just filled my heart. So I can't wait to send that product off all of that stuff. And I also feel good about it because it's like, okay, like this stuff probably I wouldn't have finished before it truly went bad or I would have ended up giving it away anyways. So I just feel really good about it. Rant over. So I finished this one. This was a gold and collagen mask. I don't know where this came from. Maybe like five below. It was nice. This is the Bath and Body Works Shea Butter and Jehovah Oil. I don't like these masks. They're so wet and it's over the top. I don't think I'll buy any of these again. I got them on sale because it was like buy three, get three. And it was like three for six. And I had like $10 for free or I pretty much got like 10 masks or nine masks for like a dollar or something. No, I don't like it. The Pacifica Rosen Peptide Facial Mask. This was really nice. And this I just purchased at Big Lots. They have a, they have a set of six different um, charcoal infused masks. They're by My Beauty Spot. And it's in like a cardboard thing. And they're usually $5 for six masks, which are awesome. But they were marked down to $2.50. So I bought two sets. So I used the first one from it. And this was the vitamin C. And this was awesome. So if I'm buying big lots, I'm going to have to check that out. These are some of my favorite masks. The K-Bella mask. This is a pore minimizing T-zone. This is awesome. It's very harsh though. So you can't, at least for me, I can't use that all the time. And then the all-star of all these masks is the Sephora Aloe Vera sleeping mask. I got like two or three uses out of it. Well, it looks like there's a little bit left. I'm going to put this on my face. Um, so it's a very thick, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, thick consistency. And you just leave it on your face. I'm going to put it here where I told you it gets dry. Um, oh, it smells good too. I love, I have a bunch of these masks like this. I absolutely love them. And like I said, you get a lot of use out of it. Um, I think they sell these, what, for 4 or $5 each? I probably could have got four uses, but I, I really like this leather mask on. I woke up, my face was glowy. My face was so hydrated. I was like, girl, you better work. <laughs> so those are all the things I finished. Plus I finished a bunch of deluxe size things, probably like 20 deluxe size things in masks. So like probably 20 more things when I was away. Um, if you don't follow my Instagram 
or if you're not on Instagram, that's cool. But if you are, check out Empties for Days. You'll see all the things that I'm finishing. And you can ask me specifics about products because I don't necessarily go in depth on these videos. But um, that is my April slash May-ish Empties. I hope you enjoy this and I'll talk to you later.